Do you ever wonder why some chemicals flow more easily than others? What's the deal with certain compounds flowing differently than others? Is it true that only liquids flow? All these phenomena are associated with fluids. The term fluid refers to a material that has no defined structure and quickly submits to external pressure. It might be in the form of a liquid or a gas. As we are now clear about what fluid is, let's look at the forms of fluid flow. Steady or unsteady. Viscous or non-viscous. So, what do you mean by steady or unsteady flow? Depending on the velocity of the fluid, the flow can be either steady or unsteady. The velocity of the fluid in steady flow remains constant during its flow from one point to another. While in unsteady flow, the fluid's velocity is variable between any two points. The next one to discuss is viscous or non-viscous flow. Can you tell me what viscous or non-viscous flow is? The viscosity of a fluid refers to its resistance to flow. A viscous fluid has a high barrier to flow. On the other hand, a non-viscous fluid is said to have low viscosity. Now, I have a question for you. Can you explain what is viscosity now? So, as you have learned, viscosity can be understood as the measurement of a fluid's thickness. Viscous fluids include things like motor oil and shampoo. After learning about the types of flow of fluids, can you tell me a few characteristics of fluids? Few of the characteristics of fluids are as follows. It may change its shape depending on the container. It has the ability to modify the direction and velocity of its flow at any time. A smooth or natural flow may be noticed while the fluid moves. Let us now see one of the most common fluids which we come across in our day-to-day -day life. What is it? It is water. Water is one of the most common fluids which we see around us. So, let's have a look at some fascinating water facts. Water is the only fluid that expands on freezing. To understand it better, let us do a simple experiment. In this, let us take in two different containers, acetone and water, and freeze them. It can be clearly seen that, when acetone is frozen, it is compressed, while water, when converted into ice, is expanded. Water can exist in three states, solid, liquid, and gas, as well as in the vapor form naturally. Lastly, let us talk about one more form of fluid that we come across often, which is vapor. Can you tell me what vapor is? At normal temperature, the vapor is a combination of two or more distinct phases, including liquid and gaseous phases, or solid and gaseous phases, or sometimes all these three phases. For example, when we heat a liquid, there exists both liquids as well as vapor form together. Vapor always exists along with either liquid or solid phase. It can't exist independently. In this video, we learned about fluids. It is a material with no defined structure and quickly submits to external pressure. It might be in the form of a liquid or a gas. Then we learned about the characteristics of fluid, which are as follows. It may change its shape depending on the container. It can modify the direction and velocity of its flow at any time. A smooth or natural flow may be noticed while the fluid moves.